we're going to a place called Elts Castle. And it's supposed to be a really cool view. It's been on my bucket list for a little while, but unfortunately how this trip has been timed, I'm here at, let's, let's call it about 1 p.m. So there's no dramatic clouds. The, the sun is like very high above us. And lighting's very harsh, but let's, let's see what the view looks like. It should still be pretty cool. Think of all the places I've been to in the German countryside. This is actually the most touristed area I've been to. It's kind of crazy. I feel like I've been in the back country of the German Alps. I've been to the top of Zug's Pizze. I've been to a bunch of the castles between Garmisch and uh, Frankfurt on this road trip. But a lot of those have been kind of off the beaten path, I guess. I wasn't really anticipating like a literal crowd of people. So this might be a great opportunity to use a, a 10 stop neutral density filter because it's noon, one o'clock, and there are tons of people everywhere. So I'm not gonna be able to get the kind of shots that I'd normally want. In this case, I can show you guys how to use these 10 stop filters and what effect they play on these time lapses. So this will be, uh, be a fun learning opportunity. Stick with me guys. So with this 10 stop neutral density filter on, I set the interval to two seconds, the aperture's at eight, and the shutter speed is at a second and a half, 1.6 seconds. And the purpose of that is to really just slow the motion down and create a, a lot of blurring movement with the, with the line of tourists. So that would require either a wider aperture or a longer shutter speed to be able to get proper exposure. And now I'll take a time lapse without using the 10 stop, just so you guys see the difference of what this little filter can do in a crowded scenario like this. Well, that was a lot more crowded than I thought it was gonna be. And the lighting's not great, <laughs> but I hope you guys learned something. Uh, talking about how a neutral density filter works. The 10 stops are some of the most dense. They block out the most light. Allows us to get motion blur with a very slow shutter speed in the middle of daylight at 1 p.m. What time is it actually? 1.06 p.m. So, short but sweet, but I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Till next time. <laughs>